Hi guys, uh, Rich again from back up here. Um, I'd just like to use this little video or section to, to go on to back wheel balance. That's the next thing we're going to be looking at in this series of videos. Um, why is this an important skill for us as wheelchair users? It's got so many applications. Uh, chief of which is kind of getting off curbs. Uh, you can also use back wheel balances to, to go down ramps, which we'll cover in a, in a further video. Uh, so it's not just for uh, for show, sure, you know, it does have uh, functional applications as well. Um, as is with the other skills, uh, the importance of, of using a spotting strap is, is very much paramount. So, yeah, if, I, I would advise against trying this unless you've got uh, somebody who, who is able to, to kind of take your weight via the spotting strap. Again, for more information on spotting, please reference the, the spotting video that we've put together already. Um, and, and yeah, so we'll get stuck in now uh, and have a little crack and a little look at, at back wheel balances, uh, the process behind them, and the, the different things that you can try. So it's very much uh, an extension of kind of the stationary flick skill that we that we covered in a previous video. Just this time. There's going to be two key differences. So our weight is going to be further back this time. Uh, we want a nice even split 50-50 over the axle pin uh, to allow for optimum balance. And we also want to make sure uh, that there's small, small movements on the push rim just to adjust if, say, the front of the wheelchair drops down ever so slightly. You want to be able to push through on the push rims to raise that back up and vice versa find yourself tipping too far out the back of the wheelchair you can pull forward on the push rims and that just brings the front down ever so slightly and we're looking to maintain a balance on these big drive wheels at the back here so with the with the back wheel balance this time as I've said weight needs to be further back we need to give it a bit more oomph with the arms so a bit more of a vigorous push uh, just to allow that front those caster wheels at the front to get up ever so slightly higher. So this time we're looking at uh, maybe a couple of inches. Obviously this varies wheelchair to wheelchair. Um, if you've got a, a shorter base wheelchair you might not need to flick as hard or get the wheels up as high to get the balance. And uh, if you've got a longer base wheelchair you might have to give it a, a lot more oomph and, and get the, the wheels up a, a little bit higher to maintain the balance. Excuse me. So. To start with, as with the, all the skills before, we want to make sure that our hips are nice and square in our wheelchair. That our bum is, is right against the backrest there, so nice and nice and far back. We're sat nice and securely in our chair. The, the starting position is similar to all the other positions, so just behind the centre point there, not too far back, just behind the centre point. What we're looking to do is flick up with the wheelchair uh, and keep our head and shoulders this time ever so slightly backwards so there's a lot of weight going through our back rests here um, and what we want to do is try and maintain kind of a, a gentle grip on our push rims making small movements as I've said as you come up it's really really useful to, to maintain eye contact with, with an object in the distance use it as a focal point um, it's very very important the amount of people when they, they're first learning to back wheel balance that hold their breath while they're doing it, uh, it's, it's quite a few. So although it sounds silly, remember to breathe and try and stay as relaxed as possible in your, in your shoulders. Okay, so the importance of, of kind of the small movements on the, the push rim there is say if I was, for example, to lean back and then flick it up from here and I keep my hands in the same position if I keep my hands locked on the push rims here that brings my head and shoulders forward and that makes the front of the wheelchair go down so what we're looking for is keeping your hands up here on the top of the push rim in this kind of area and we're looking to watch where our head and shoulders are our head and shoulders are quite a a big mass so you can you can do a lot just by moving your head and shoulders you can affect the balance a lot 
uh, and we'll talk a little bit about that later in the video when we go on to, to deeper balances. But for now, we'll just start with a normal shallow back wheel balance. So, finding a focal point in the distance. Remember to keep those shoulders relaxed. Keep breathing in and out the entire time. A little flick. And then we're looking for small movements here on the push rim just to maintain that balance point as we go. So as I've said, if you see the front caster wheels come down, push through to keep them up a bit. And if you're going too far at the back, you can pull back to get the casters down. So we're just looking for small movements on the top of the back wheels here. As you can see, my head and shoulders are just behind the axle pin, so the center line. My head and shoulders and chest um, are, are quite, a, quite a mass, as I say, but so are, so are my legs. So you're looking for a 50-50 split of the weight on either side of that axle pin. Right. Now, as I've said, sometimes you don't flick up enough. So you need to focus on giving it a bit more beans if you're not quite getting it up there. Um, also likewise, as I've stressed already, important to have the spotter just in case you give it too much oomph straight off, so too much vigour with the first push and you end up uh, going beyond the point of balance. So it's very important to try and do a few flicks and just see the kind of height that you need to get to with that. Um, and as I say, the key elements are making sure that you're keeping breathing, stayed relaxed in your shoulders, uh, little incremental movements on the top of the push rim there, and make sure that you're pushing it up enough to get those caster wheels about an inch and a half, two inches maybe, off the, off the ground and maintaining that balance point. I'll say it varies for every chair. Uh, once you've, you've managed the back wheel balance and got to grips with that, you can try uh, moving in a back wheel balance, so what we would call gliding. So gliding is, um, is basically just moving in a back wheel balance. So once you've got a stationary balance, if I was to try and push my drive wheels forward to move from here, my push just makes me go, go backwards. Um, so we need to think of what we can do to counteract that. So in order to counteract that, have to drop the caster wheels ever so slightly and then push through to compensate. So dropping the caster wheels, pushing through to compensate, dropping the wheels, pushing through. So again, getting in your stationary balance, dropping the wheels, push through, dropping the wheels, push through, dropping the wheels, push through. And it's slow, slow movements while you're learning. Once you become more proficient over time, this will get faster. Um, but yeah, just for, for now, slow and steady wins the race. So just getting used to dropping those wheels slightly, pushing through, dropping, pushing through, and maintaining that balance point uh, the entire time. Another useful skill is, is transitioning from a shallow balance to a deeper balance, um, which has applications for uh, going down steps and and curves and things like that, uh, which we'll talk about in later videos. So deeper balance is maintaining your balance point but getting the caster wheels up higher. What you have to do to compensate for that is move where your head and shoulders are. So for me, this is a normal balancing point. So in order to maintain that 50-50 split of weight over the axle pin, if I get the front of my wheelchair up more, I need to move my head and shoulders forward to compensate while still staying in a balanced point. Vice versa. Okay, letting the front down there and raising my head and shoulders back. So again, getting it forwards to the deeper balance and then from there, moving it back. All right, and, uh, and finally with back wheel balances, when you become proficient, uh, you can start throwing turns into your back wheel balance. So with this, you'll need to think about uh, the forwards and backwards level 
and you'll also need to think about turns. So you have to think about where your weight is going forwards and backwards, keeping that balance whilst also doing little turns. So small turns as you're keeping your balance point there. And you can practice that left and left and right. And likewise with that skill, as, as you, you do it more and more, you become more and more proficient. Alright, and that in a nutshell is, is backbow balance. A very, very useful skill for getting down uh, steeper ramps, going off curbs, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, have a practice. But as I said at the start of this video, making sure that you're safe is, is very, very important. So always use a spotter. With this skill, because your wheelchair is going to be tipped to such an angle, uh, it's not possible to do it with the anti-tips on, so you'll have to take those off for this skill. So yeah, always make sure you've got a spotter whilst you're learning. Always be safe uh, and have fun with it, guys. Excellent, thanks very much. And uh, we'll talk about uh, curbs and stuff in the next video. Okay, thanks.